Welcome back guys, Texas E36 Garage. I'm Cody, I'm your host, and we are back on the house. I know I haven't had an update in like two weeks, or a video, or anything guys, but we have been powering through this house, and we have not, I, I have not filmed. I just haven't, um, but I'm getting back into it. Uh, but as you can see, a lot is starting to come together, guys. I'm going to kind of walk you through what we have going on and what we've done. So I don't know if you guys remember, but we had a internal HVAC heater thing from the 70s in here. And it was in its own little closet. Closet came all the way out to here, everything. We were talking about just keeping it there and not messing with it. Well, we blew out the wall, blew out where it was, and the old pantry is gone, and we have now built ourselves a nice, slim, like 12-inch deep pantry, guys. We have our three, oh, well, two lights in the kitchen. We have a third going in that hole, but we had to take that out because that's where the old light was. But, guys... The pantry is almost done, almost sheetrock, ready to go. What you have not seen, and what you're going to see right now, is the bathroom. We've taken the everything out of the bathroom, taken the ceiling down, and everything. I got a time lapse of that right here. So guys, so that was the time lapse of us taking down the ceiling in the bathroom. Uh, as you can see, ceiling's gone, new window is in, we have a new window in here, and the bathtub's in place. Uh, we had the plumber come over and run all new water, so the water's done. And what you didn't see, which I don't know if you guys know or not, or filmed, or I didn't film it, or I don't know, but this used to be the entrance to the bathroom right here you came in right here this was a closet and the closet was just like a catch-all closet type thing so what we've done is now this is the entrance tripped over a broom this is the entrance to the bathroom you're gonna walk in here and then around so the bathroom's gonna feel bigger and then this is gonna be a accent wall you know, most likely like a full length mirror go on this wall, little cubby hole things there. But that is getting done. We literally just pulled the ceiling down so that we can resheet rock and put a new ceiling in, new lights and all that kind of stuff. And in the back room, I did not film at all on this either, but our laundry room, guys. So as you can see, our washer dryers there that's going to be shelving and a little folding table this is going to have two sliding doors we just ordered those from lowe's they're going to be glass inserted frosted cool looking wood doors and everything going to match the rest of the house guys but that is sheetrock and ready to go so we are slowly getting everything done we're powering through getting it all done guys but one thing on Narissa's list that she wanted to do and did not want to, didn't budge on it at all. So you know we got the new flooring and the flooring's going throughout the whole house, everywhere. But her one thing was she wanted the kitchen floor to be concrete, exposed concrete. And as you knew, I, we had like some old peel and stick VCT tile laminate crap that was on there and when we took it off it left like a tarry glue i don't know what it was uh, mastic kind of stuff all over the floor well she fought for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks scraping and soaking it and everything well what i did was i went on amazon found this stuff called blue bear it's like a soybean, all natural type thing. Poured it on the floor, and you're gonna see the video right now.
that video, guys? It literally, li literally, uh, words, literally liquefied what was on the floor. And now we have a perfectly smooth, let me get the light, see if I can't show you guys. So, this was glue and mastic and everything, but this floor came out baby butt smooth. It's dirty right now because, you know, we have, watch this, let's see something here. Get this wet and I can show you guys here. But, you clean this floor, and look at it. It's literally like perfect polished concrete, but it's not polished. But what we're gonna do is all we're gonna do is seal it and leave it as it is, guys. So, as you can see, that comes out awesome. The flooring, the wood floor is gonna come to here, transition strip, same over here, kinda come to the inside of that wall, transition strip, and a sealed concrete floor, and we are done in the kitchen for the flooring, guys. That was actually one of the funnest things we've done in the house so far, as far as enjoyable, was stripping that floor. It just literally, we are squeegee in it, and cat litter, and it literally came up awesomely, guys. But, that is it for the house. Like, we've been powering through, guys, getting everything done on the house. Um, not much, actually nothing has been done on this pretty baby. So guys, the last video you guys saw of the E36 is literally the last video that we've done on the E36. Um, as you can see, engine bay, still the same. It's sanded, headlights have been removed. I need to get in here and start welding and, and cleaning up everything and grinding away and all sorts of sh nut. But, haven't done anything on it, babe, guys. Like literally, I plug it in to keep the battery up, but other than that, nothing's changed. But, I promise, guys, we're getting back to it because we are getting closer and closer on the house. The more this stuff gets on the house, the more I can dedicate full time to the M3s. Um, you know, guys, I know Week Fest is coming up October 14th. Um, I'm going to Germany with Marissa August 22nd. We're going to be in Germany for nine days. Well, we're going to be in London for two, Germany for eight whatever then travel there and back and stuff guys but as soon as we get back the house should be done we should be moved in because we have to be moved in by october 2nd it is july 19th 18th 19th 19th so we're we're coming up on it guys but everything is coming together really quickly uh bathroom will be done this week well all the, all the walls will be done, ceiling will be done. We have to wire the lights and stuff, but um, my dad's helping us with that. But, you know guys, this wouldn't be possible without you guys, without my parents, without Marissa's parents. Marissa, 100%, we would not be where we're at as far along in this house if it wasn't for them guys. But I wanna thank you for wa keep watching the channel. Subscribe, stay subscribed. Go pick up a sticker off of the website. I have not had time to update stickers or anything, guys, but I promise once the house gets to a good point and I'm back on the M3, I am remaking some stickers. I'm gonna make some home rebuild stickers uh, with the E36 and everything, so it's gonna be kind of a cool sticker. Help commemorate like, everything that we've been through. And, uh, you know, all you guys, all the subscribers that have been with me since the flood and have watched me before the flood, during the flood, and now continue to subscribe, even though I don't do much E36 stuff right now, but we do do 
the house stuff, but guys, thanks to you guys for sticking with it, sticking with me, helping me out along the way, and everything, guys. But thanks for watching this video. Keep subscribing, keep watching. I'm gonna try to keep my regular uh, Friday uploads. I'm sorry I missed last Friday, guys, but a lot of house stuff done. But we're getting there. I'll see you next video.